And our top story at 5.30, a big change coming to one of the Bay Area's largest homeless encampments. How people being cleared out could be offered a new start. Good evening, I'm Sarah Donchi. And I'm Ryan Yamamoto. San Jose plans to build a new tiny home neighborhood just blocks to where it is clearing a homeless encampment. That camp is near the San Jose airport across the freeway from where the homes will be built on a city parking lot. KPX 5's Lynn Ramirez on the city's effort to solve the homeless crisis. Well, it's no coincidence that these two announcements came out at the same time. 76 more tiny homes being built just a short walking distance away from this homeless encampment, which is now being cleared to make way for a new park. Shovels in the ground for San Jose's newest neighborhood to be built here on what was once a portion of the San Jose Police Department's employee parking lot. The tiny modular homes, or what the mayor calls quick build apartments, will be ready to house people now living on the streets in about six months. We know we need to build a lot more housing. We certainly need permanent supportive housing, but we also need housing that can be built more quickly and more cost effectively. The city is providing the land, but most of the rest of the cost, about $6 million, is coming from private donors. It will be flexible to be able to be used for the critical needs of our community, most immediately for the hundreds of our neighbors who live in Guadalupe River Park. The housing announcement comes just as San Jose is clearing homeless camps in the River Park and adjacent open space on Spring Street. One section has already been cleared. The rest will be vacated by June to make way for a just announced new dog park, a Frisbee golf course, and other park amenities. Oh, all they're going to do is push people out to have more recreational activities and push people somewhere else. The city hopes that at least for some, that somewhere else will be the new community they're building. And the city says new parks could also provide paying jobs for the community in a new park maintenance and steward program. It's creating a job opportunity uh, in, in, in an area where we know we're going to need good stewardship. One camp resident who lives in an RV says he'd gladly move into one of the new homes. I'd I like to see something like that done because uh, that's something. I mean, uh, right now, we don't have anything. In San Jose, Len Ramirez, KPIX 5.